everybody. It is 2.34. Good afternoon. Still a beautiful Wednesday right here on the Midday Show with me, Ifunaya. And of course, we're still on the dish and it's time for our very special Hot Topic segment for this week. This week, we're going to be talking about relationships and marriage. And it's going to be a very interesting, dare I say, complicated conversation to have because I believe or what I'm looking forward to hearing are uh, different perspectives which might just not align, but it's fun to hear and to see things from people's perspective. So we're going to be talking about if there really is a difference in responsibilities when you are in a relationship versus when you are married. And um, we want to hear from you listening via Twitter, via WhatsApp, and via our phone lines. The phone lines to call 0809 234-5913-0809-222-0913-0809-191-3913. So ladies, let's, let's start off with this because a lot of times we hear things like, you know, women, stop giving men that your boyfriends, you know, husband privileges. Men, stop giving women that are just your girlfriend's wife privileges. You know, the person is not your wife. The person is not your husband. Why are you doing such and such? So I want us to start off with what the difference is between a relationship and a marriage. And I'm not talking about the obvious difference. You know, yes, we know you are married officially. Mm. But aside that, like, I, I want to know, in, in your understanding and in your perspective, the dynamics, the difference in the dynamics between a relationship and a marriage. So ladies, let's get into it. Mm. Hmm. Well, definitely there's more permanency, supposedly, in a marriage. Um, with regards, as opposed to, although some people will tell you that they'd rather have companionship regards to relationship mm -hmm. and I, I do actually know two couples who have been together for a very long time they're not married uh one but has they're exclusively together yeah they're exclusive well <laughs> alleged well alleged. <laughs> so that, that, that's the plan because, because you see you would know actually one set set a have two kids set b don't have children uh -huh. uh, oh. at all uh and apparently it's by desire so okay. to speak they're not interested in having children but They've been together for what, almost 15 years now, actually. Yeah. That's, that's, that's longer B. than most marriages. That's, it, that's yeah. set B. <laughs> set hey, I think I, I I think nine years. Okay. Or so so but they have children, two kids, you know. So um I think it's really it depends on the people involved in this relationship slash marriage. Obviously, with marriage, you know, um, when the children start coming in, um, your responsibilities start to differ. Mm. Along, along certain lines, perhaps picking up the children from school, perhaps who's going to provide certain X, Y, Z regarding this. It's, it's, it's not a clear path to, mm. you know, what, what, how do your responsibilities change from marriage mm. to, to from relationship, from relationship to marriage? To marriage. Mm. Because like uh, you said about uh, giving wife privileges or husband privileges, some people are relationships and they're as good as married. <laughs> Mm. Without the paper, yeah. So, so, yeah. so, ladies, I, I, I think I would say these days, yeah. you know, the 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 line between committed relationships and uh, marriage is just is kind of blurry these yeah. days. Blurry. Yeah. So, right. before you yeah. get into it further, Kel. So, in your opinion, because mm. I know there isn't like a clear rule mm. or cut yeah. rule for everyone to follow, but mm. what do you think, or what? How many years <laughs> do you think? Um, you have to be in a relationship before it's considered as, you know what, this is as good as marriage. How many years do you have to be in a relationship? I, I, don't, I don't know if I would even like qualify as the number of years. I think I would I would say more of the quality yeah. of the relationship mm. because some people have been together, what, maybe five, six years mm -hmm. and it just still feels like, you know, hey, it is what it is. But some people have been together like three months yeah. and the intensity, mm. like the, the frequency with which they talk, the plans they have, yeah. the things they do together, the things they do for each other, the commitments that mm. they have towards each other is deeper so I would say it depends on the quality and not just the quantity mm. and when we talk about quality we're not talking about the two different people mm -hmm. what they want what they're bringing to the table you know if their visions align mm -hmm. because some people once they meet my friend told me that she knew it was her husband when she knew that their vision aligned mm, where she was heading to in life was the same way he was heading to as well and mm. they came together and they multiplied the vision that they both had individually mm -hmm. so I would say it depends on the people and the quality of the relationship mm. yeah, and I'm just Speaking about, you know, commitment, speaking about what you're bringing to the table, mm. Goma, 
what do you think, you know, as regards a relationship, what is the expectation, you know, of a girlfriend and a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do <it>. Don't <laughs> laundry. Um, <laughs> so, so basically, what do you bring to the table as a girlfriend or as, as a boyfriend? A girl. Like, what, what really do you do? So, like, I, I think, I think for me, because this is my perspective. Yeah. I think when it comes to relationship, it's all about investment, mm -hmm. right? And I will invest in a relationship not based on how much I like the person, but how much the person invests in that relationship as mm. well. Um, confused though. So what, what I'm basically saying okay. is don't invest, well to me, I would not invest in a relationship okay. based on how much I like the person, oh, yeah. okay. but it's yeah. based on how that. much the person is investing in that the relationship. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, in terms of responsibilities mm. i think that i think when it comes to relationship and marriage it's not mutually exclusive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because in a relationship i'm always pursuing value right and i think that value is you can never pursue it to an end because it would always have to reflect in your marriage mm -hmm. so um value should be one of the things that you that I would pursue in a relationship mm. but I also but not not only value but I also pursue being authentic mm. to myself mm. but being authentic in the sense bringing my best foot forward mm -hmm. okay. because I would want to be irreplaceable in a relationship of course right and I think that being irreplaceable could also mean that you would go an extra mile to want to you know show and express your love mm. but it has to be a limit to it mm. in the sense of for me as as an individual I don't I wouldn't expect my boyfriend quote unquote to to be obligated to pay for everything. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of person, that's the kind of perspective that I do have. Mm. Um, now, when we, when we get married, you're obligated to take care of certain needs. In fact, if not most needs, but I come from a perspective where it sometimes could be 50-50 and it sometimes it can shift, right? But I think the, the main point that I would, you know, emphasize is invest in a relationship based on how much the person invests as opposed to how much you like the person, because that okay. likeness can blind you okay. in a so, way so you're changing yourself. Just uh, ladies, because I, I actually like Ugoma's point, saying what she said, like based on her opinion, mm -hmm. that she wants to invest in a relationship, not necessarily because of how the person likes her, but how much he also invests. Mm -hmm. So just on this premise, mm -hmm. do you think that this would work because she's a female and he's male? Or should this work from both ends, where the guy as well should also invest based on how much the girl is investing? Or do you think that the onus is more uh, more on one gender in a relationship when it comes to investment? What are we investing? Money, time, Money, energy. Money, energy, time, yeah. These different Love, things, okay. these are all valuable things. Uh, the thing is, um, with regards to, you know, having vested interests and putting your best foot forward, like Ugoma said, um, I don't think the responsibility lies on anybody's shoulders per se. Um, it would change from time to time depending on the dynamics of the relationship depending on the timing of the relationship mm. depending on extras from the outside influencing the relationship so I'm not sure it's set in stone that it's the woman that will carry the burden or the man or it's 50-50 some days it's zero to a hundred mm. yeah or some periods you know um but I think the most important thing is that alignment. That yeah. alignment is very key. Yeah, that definitely. being able to reason. Because, for instance, I've had incidences and it's quite, you know, when people say, oh, you know, check people online, you know, before you. It's very important, actually. Yeah. It is very important because you find out that sometimes the way they reason, the, their goals, their, their own type of orientation is totally different from yours. Of course. Mm -hmm. And there are actually people that if it wasn't for the fact that they were hitting on you, you would never give them the time of day, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's so very that, yeah. True. So, that <laughs> thing, yeah, <laughs> that being aligned, yeah. that thing is cocoa. You may not be fully aligned, but let those core values be shared. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's I it agree. for me. All right, guys, I if agree. you're listening, the question is this, is there a difference in responsibilities when you're in a relationship versus when you are married? <laughs> 
Men, I would like for you to join the conversation. Women as well. This is not just a, a conversation for men. <laughs> Let's get your take. And be honest, though. If, if you want to call in and be anonymous, please. So if you're a woman that calls in and says, listen, if a guy decides that he wants to date me from the onset, he yes. has to show me that he can be a husband mm -hmm. by actually acting like a husband. Mm -hmm. You know, by putting out those responsibilities mm -hmm. that you expect a husband to put out. Mm -hmm. And if you're a guy, if this is exactly what you expect from your woman that you I want to, you know, date... Please feel free to join the conversation. Let's see things from your perspective. Explain <laughs> it. Let's understand. And, you know, let's have fun with this. 0809 234 Lagos Talks, good afternoon. Who's speaking, please? Good afternoon. Have a book on the line. All right, Ebuka, welcome. Let's hear you. Okay. Nice conversation, honestly, because this is the reality. You know, your reality is not the same thing with my own reality. Just like the definition is given to this very topic, I also see people coming to understand themselves one agreeing on what works for them. Because, because I can't be you can't be having your own thoughts and whereas you you and your so sorry, your partner. Your partner is our another tenant in in his in his or her own house, right? So I think coming to write it down or speak it out so that people would define it and understand it where you are going. Because if you now say, Okay, I'm the one investing and the other one is just taking at the end of the day it is you are going this separate way. So trying to understand each other and what works for you and keeping it keep it real. Not just learning from people and confusing yourself and whatever thing. You see, you know, the other day on your uh, was the question mark. You know, we were jokingly trying to balance things. I was like, people should understand, say, say whatever thing they have. Be, be honest, be sincere. You get define the relationship so that we won't yeah, just be backmaning anybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Thank you. Again. All right, thank you very much. Lagos talks. <laughs> I would also want mm. to just step into the terrain of what is too much at a particular point. You know, maybe you get into... <laughs> I you can get, tell you, you, going, you to your, going to his mother's house, getting her laundry, doing her laundry, <laughs> excuse me, yes. or cooking for the whole family yeah, no, when they could easily no. hire... Uh, cooks yeah. mm -hmm. for parties, uh -huh. mm -hmm. or you're the one sitting down plucking the pepe. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> please, I beg. Sounds like things something. you wouldn't do for your mama. Don't do it. Don't do it for them. So do, is it? I don't, do I have it, a friend. Don't do it in a relationship or in a marriage. Both, please. I think just What's be that? yourself. Because I have a yeah, friend who said there was yeah. a girl who came to see him one day. Yeah. yeah. You know, and his mom was in the kitchen, and then she got up and went into the kitchen to, because she was like, oh, I think she asked him. And he was like, no, you don't need to do it. It's not necessary. Because he knows his family. Yeah. So the girl <laughs> entered the kitchen and then she wanted to help. And the mother said, ask her why. Oh, this is <laughs> because that's, Yeah, that's their, their family. They're very this weird is, like that. This is so the mother asked her why. She said, did you come to see me? No, you came to see my son. So go and sit down in the living room with Ouch. him. That's something you know what the say. thing is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. why? Yeah. Why yeah. are you yeah. paying lip service? You know, the thing is, <laughs> I think sometimes some women do way too much. Mm. Too much? Way too much. You know? <laughs> You're going over and beyond things that are even uncomfortable to you. Okay. It's ridiculous. Why? Because, see, okay, let's say, for instance, that girl that walked into the kitchen to so come and do what? You're dressed, <laughs> all dressed up to yes. what? Yes. So that slicing onion. As in. <laughs> and then your whole hands will be, I'm sorry, you know? And then, you know, those families, those are bad families that um, when you get into the family, you have to call people way younger than you, uncle and auntie. Oh, mm. no, I hate that thing. Yeah, no. That thing make no sense to me. Oh, they'll tell you that you can't call your husband by his name. Oh, come on. Wait, sorry, who said that? <laughs> okay, That's Daddy Wa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> daddy Wa. I love it. I love it. I think just, <laughs> just butchers my mother um, calls my to what, by um, <laughs> what Ayana did mention. Yeah. I think when it comes to doing too much, mm. I think there are certain people, and talking about women as well as men, because I know mm. that you're men that still, oh, some yeah. men that oh, actually yeah. do They're too men much. that go overboard as well. Um, I think that one of the reasons why they do that is because they want to impress. Great mm -hmm. impression. And oftentimes, these people have been socialized into thinking that your self-worth is equated to yep. how much effort or how much work you put into the, mm -hmm. the relationship, especially Absolutely. when it's not changing you as a person. Mm -hmm. So for me, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be too brash to these people because mm -hmm. they may not know better or they may know, but because they're so embedded in that 
type of thinking, yeah. they will still go ahead and do it. But mm. I think that people need to understand that there's a limit to when it comes to being in a relationship and being married. Mm. Yeah. And it's about value. When you know yourself, when you're authentic to yourself, you would know the things that you can allow mm. and things you cannot. Yeah, and you true. will not do things that will shortchange you mm -hmm. because you know that at the end of the day, that relationship, as well as the person you're dating, must be impressive to you as well as to both parties. Mm -hmm. So what about the relationship isn't bringing value? It means that even if you're dating someone that's impressive, you'll be miserable in that relationship. Of course. Mm. So, Reach. Yes, you will be. And it's the so, truth. Yeah. That's it. All right, very well said. This is coming from Zook Radio saying, change is the only constant thing in life. Responsibilities change while as friends in relationship level and even as a married couple mm. these responsibilities revolve around responsibility to oneself mm -hmm. your partner society and the opposite sex mm. uh this is coming from <laughs> his royal empire saying wow. hi ladies his for royal me <laughs> for me boundaries are characteristics in both but for boyfriend and girlfriend from the beginning definition is key yes so definite. it doesn't become oh. a scalar quantity yeah. some things are unnecessary till marriage is Define what he's saying let's it. take this lagos talks good afternoon who's speaking please good afternoon Good afternoon. What's your name? Uh, my name is Franklin. I'm on the road. All right. Let's hear you, Franklin. <laughs> on the on road. The road. <laughs> so, so my, take, uh, my take on this relationship is um, oh, yeah. have no expectation. Have, have no uh, expectation. Zero expectation. Yes. Zero expectation. Okay. So bo in both relationships, especially in relationships, hmm. um, and then... If the pet thing do something that is extraordinarily good to you, mm. I mean, that person has uh, beaten your own imagination. And so I feel at that point, that person is a good person and is worth investing in. Mm. But like, uh, personally, I'm married, but when I was dating, I, I like to add value to people, generally. So I do not expect to date and a, a lady, and then leave her the same way I met her at the end of the relationship. Whether yeah. and and then I, I like to to maintain relationship with people. So whether we're still dating or not, we are still going to maintain uh, a level of friendship. Mm. We might we definitely will not do to each other anymore. But then we'll still be on talking terms. I mean, opportunity might come from me, and opportunity might come from you and you think of me first, or the other way around. So, uh, but then, while I'm dating, while I was dating, I do not expect anything from anybody. So, I do not expect, I do not date any lady expecting a birthday gift, expecting you to come to my house and do stuff for me. I mean, and maybe that is the way I was brought up there, because even in marriage, trust me, I still do the cooking for my wife. Mm, okay. I still do many of the house chores and without even bugging her. And so when she feels like, you know, I should be, she should be doing this, as babe, this is done. Then relax. Let me stick it. Because I do not, I do not live my life. And I, know, and I think really mistake most guys make is the illusion that, oh, once I, once I get married, all of my problems are over. Mm -hmm. Like the lady... We do the cooking for me, do my laundry. <laughs> we uh, get my to nanny. all of my needs. <laughs> you get me right. Uh, and then when they get into marriage, and then they realize that yo, it is different around here. She's not doing this. Nobody ain't got that time for that. Most marriages have issues. Mm. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Very well said. So, ladies, now just writing off of a, a bit of what he said. Because I've heard this several times where we hear things like when you get into a relationship, don't have expectations, you know, stop putting pressure on people. Everyone is dealing with their own demons. And I always wonder, is it possible? And I want you guys to answer this question. Is it possible to have standards, preferences without having expectations? Mm, I, I I don't think so. <laughs> because let's look possible. at it this way now. Mm -hmm. Um I want to work at Lagos Talks, you know. Yes, I want to get paid for the work I do, but I also want to um, grow my CV. I also want to learn and grow as a presenter and possibly move on to other things. 
I have expectations. I have, I mean, being intentional about it. This is what I want to do. What would I do? I will prepare my CV. When I send it to the company, they ask me to come in for the interview. I will come in prepared, well-dressed, answer the questions properly. And I will, you know, hope and pray and expect that I will get the job. And when I get the job, my dreams and things like that will come true. So, something that is as important as a job but not as important as, as the rest of your life why can't you apply the same principles to a relationship to the person who you want to build with mm. i'm not going to come in saying um, especially when i know what i want from life i'm not going to enter a relationship saying you know what i'm just i'm happy to do just have a cool time have a yeah, cool, fun, cool fun you know because i just like dating and it's just fun to just date to yeah. date no i'm not at that stage in my life where it's just fun to date to date i want to date because these are the things that i want you know, this is Absolutely. the timeline that I'm going through and I'm at this point in my life where I want certain things. So I'm not just going to enter into a relationship because, oh, yeah, fine. And it feels good. Mm -hmm. No. You know, if I was young and if that's what I wanted or even if I was older and I just wanted to yeah. be in a relationship just to be in a relationship, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You know, but everybody wants different things in, at certain points in their life. Yeah. So it's, you should not feel ashamed to be entering into a relationship with expectations if marriage is your goal. Or if mm. you just want to, you know, have somebody to spend good times with but you don't want any future intense entanglements. It's all good. Own okay. your truth and communicate. Just, just, oh, yeah. Okay. You want to... Yeah, just to add to mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. Um... I think that um, you can't have standards and preference without having expectations. Of course, mm -hmm. you can't. They're, you know, they're not mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. But I think from my own perspective, I believe that have expectations. But make them realistic. Mm -hmm. Make them realistic, mm -hmm. but it. it's not a guarantee mm -hmm. that that relationship is going to, to last. That. And when you have expectations, it's very, in fact, I cannot emphasize this, it's very important for you to communicate that expectation mm -hmm. because whereby you communicate the expectation, you then begin to negotiate yep. whether or not this person is <laughs> what I, who I want to spend relationship with or the rest of my life with. If you mm -hmm. don't negotiate, then you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also want to point out that expectations are different from entitlement. People yes. need to understand yes. that. Exactly. Oh, yes. Because yeah. it's yes. one thing for you to expect based on your standards and your preferences. It's another thing to you for you to feel entitled even when the person might not be able to feel, fulfill those expectations. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily because they don't want to. They mm -hmm. might not have the capacity to. Very and true. it then turns from entitlement to resentment because yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, am I not the woman in this relationship? Am I not, am I not the guy? You know, isn't this what you're supposed to do for me? Mm -hmm. You know, this is my right. So people need to be able to balance that out. They should be able to to separate it even if we know that there is a thin line there because it's like well there are certain things that there might there might be an understanding that you have based on whatever negotiation or discussions that you might have had at the beginning and mm -hmm. that's the reason why those difficult questions those difficult conversations need to be had they need to be had from because the onset yeah. because so nobody to, wastes anybody's exactly, time because you need to Don't also understand time. where this person is coming from because there are people that might be coming from a background where you know it's the typical um, gender roles. Mm -hmm. My father is the financial, you know, um, muscle or giant in the house, mm -hmm. whilst my mom is a proper caregiver, full stop, no questions asked. Mm -hmm. And you might step into a relationship expecting that other people were trained or socialized in that manner, mm. and then it becomes, oh, isn't this what you are supposed to do? And if no. it is like supposed to, from mm. where? From, from where, exactly. So you need to have those conversations very so that you, you're you very clear at the beginning so that it doesn't now turn into resentment and then men are scum, women are scum. <laughs> when, unfortunately, if you had had that understanding, you or would that have, or that conversation, <laughs> you have understood that that's not the way he is or that's not the way she is. And that doesn't make him any less of a man mm -hmm. or any less of a woman. Mm -hmm. yep. the, the truth is, I might prefer... My guy to be proper, you know, the financial bearer, you know, in the in the in the relationship or whatever. And the people that have come to the point saying, listen, I'm being honest with myself because I know how difficult it is to earn money. I would like for my partner to also share that burden with me. And it's understandable. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make him any less of a man. And that's the reason why I always say life is not so hard. You know, rather than resent a whole gender because of your limited experience that you had with one person in a relationship, mm -hmm. how about you gravitate someone that sees things the way you see things? Simple. The same way guys believe that you know some guys believe that you know women should also step in financially and you're pursuing a woman that believes listen <laughs> i've already stepped in financially for myself to look good you know in this relationship and that's it and i want to be at home or i just want to live a baby girl life and just be happy there are men that want to do that because for some of them you know it's sort of aligns with what masculinity, masculinity yeah. means. Mm. Do you understand? And I feel yeah, like these people are good for each other. So if you're a guy and what you would like 
it's for a woman to step with you or step to, to come to meet you in the middle financially. Mm. And you meet a woman and she says, no, please don't call women scum. It means that that's just not your woman. It just means that you need to go and look for a woman that aligns with the same things that you align with. Mm -hmm. So you would always have to separate your expectations yeah, but from entitlement. Let them do that. A lot of times in this thing called relationship, we, we, we paint a picture that's really not there. Mm. And once we start painting that picture, we paint that picture to also align with the expectations we want. Mm. And then you look at this person, okay, this person, okay, you know, maybe I could, you know, do a bit of um, manipulating. Mm. Yeah, because there's a whole lot of manipulations that goes on Very in relationships. Mm -hmm. It doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but yes, we do manipulate one another. Um, and at this point, you know, you, you're like, oh, eh, okay, because XYZ has physical attributes, eh, but doesn't have those kind of, innate attributes that I want but I'll still go for this and of course the person like you said is not going to deliver <laughs> because it's just my physical body I got I ain't got what you want in a woman besides Full do you understand stop. what I'm saying yeah. so mm -hmm. sometimes greed just doesn't let us see the way and I think a lot of uh, there's a lot of short sighted sightedness yeah. in relationships these days people don't see beyond their nose when it comes Very to and then I think that's why we're having so much problems right now. Indeed. Uh, this is coming from Marcel saying, uh, hello, ladies, how are you doing? See, eh? as for me, if we are not married, there are some things that I will not do. First, this laundry of a thing. Don't wash my clothes. I won't wash yours till we are married. I'm cool with cooking. I cook for my friends and my date. So I'm cool if one wants to cook for me. Bottom line, unless my ring is on your finger, these are the things that I won't do. Take you shopping. Carry your financial wahala on my head. Pay your school fees. Mm -hmm. Rent or stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I won't wash your clothes or give you yourself. money for upkeep. All right. So, men, if you're mm -hmm. listening, because we're only women in the studio. So, yeah. I want you to actually call in to let us know this. <laughs> um, because Marcel has stated literally what he would do. And I'm hoping that you let her know, at least from mm -hmm. the beginning. Let her know that like, these are the things. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, we women, and I'm guessing men as well, we want to see that these people can be our husband or a wife. Why? Because I say women seek security. Security mm. is not only finances. Yeah. They want a certain level of stability. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. They want to know that, you know, this is going to be a leader for those people who like leaders in men. Mm -hmm. um, so they want to know this is going to be a leader, someone who's going to at least lead the family, protect the family, and I'm mm -hmm. going to do it alongside him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, women will want to see this and they take note, and I'm guessing men as well, you know, as regards women, they take note based on what they are experiencing with you. For instance, now, if Marcel is saying this mm -hmm. in a relationship mm -hmm. and he's with a woman, mm -hmm. how can Marcel show the woman that I may not do this now, but I'm sure to be, you know, maybe the financial backbone of the family? How are we, as men or women, able to express or show to the other party that if we decide to take the next step into marriage, mm. this is who I'm going to be. You know, because it's one thing for someone to say, I will be this way. It's another mm. thing for you to see based on what they do. Because we always say, don't just listen to what people say. Yeah. Listen yeah. to what yeah. they do. Yeah. Of course. Guys like smoke. It exactly. Show because he stated rightly, he's in a relationship and he doesn't, he's not, he's not going to be taking up, uh, you know, up your bills. But it doesn't mean that when there's certain things that happen, he won't do them. So it's his character. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So I like the fact that he's like, because some people, some way, I, I even have age mates who go into relationships looking for that financial uh, sustenance. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, see, these guys will carry you so far for as long as they're delighted with you. Oh, wow. Once that, uh, whatever goes off, it's the next person. You know, and then you start to lose out on all of that. Yeah. So he said it, and your character will show it. If you're going to be a good woman, if you're not going to be a nag, if you, do you know that it would show. Mm -hmm. Characters like smoke, yeah. you can't hide it. That's true. Very Let me true. just paint a scenario before we move okay. straight. Yeah. So in terms of what he stated about expectations, yeah. what he can, what he can do in yeah. a relationship and cannot do in a relationship. So for example, let's say if, um, you're you're dating. So mm. I'm assuming that the guy and the lady has spoke, have spoken about their expectations mm. and both parties agree. Mm. So let's say the lady is then looking for a house to rent or yeah. an apartment to rent. And this guy on the onset has said, I'm not going to take up your financial burden, mm. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> and the girlfriend has communicated to her boyfriend that, oh, I'm looking for a place to rent. Mm. And she already knows that this guy is not going to help me financially. Mm, yeah. Now what the guy, just like what Ayana did mention, what mm. the guy could possibly do 
is to be part of the decision making the process yeah. part yeah. of inspection yeah. part yeah. of every from the from the onset to the end mm. yeah now that in a way shows you that this man is you're not on your yeah. own you're not yeah. on your own mm-hmm. so i think that's a difference yeah, yeah. that's yeah. true um let's take this and then we move on to what our message is lagos talks good afternoon who's speaking please good afternoon all right let's hear you okay what i would like to talk about the discussion is that I think that people generally need to discuss and um, we need to understand ourselves what you you can do and what you cannot do. Okay? Mm-hmm. And so that, you know, all these issues that we have uh, highlighted, if you check it, you know, some, some, some guys enjoy taking care of everything in the house. Mm-hmm. And there is nothing you are going to to tell them that will make them change. They enjoy it. So the like ladies that we want them to take care of everything. Mm. Why some people don't like that? Mm. Some girls enjoy washing clothes. You will not even <laughs> tell them. Some enjoy some enjoy cooking. Mm. In fact, when they come to your house, don't try to say they should not cook. <laughs> okay, so we need to understand people, and that when you see a relation that you you know that this relationship is good, understand each other, and know how to follow each other mm. to make the relationship work better. All right, thank you very much. Uh, this is coming from Marcel. Also, did a follow up saying, I can buy you gifts, I can help you if you need capital, <laughs> I can lend you some cash, I can cook for my girlfriend, I can tolerate sleepovers. He said, Tolerate sleepovers. What? No, Marcel, tolerate. <laughs> Marcel, when you're dating Marcel, somebody. He said it's that's tolerate. quite a harsh word. To but use. he said, Because don't move in yet. <laughs> Leo is saying, Relationship leads to marriage. I date to marry who I dated. So I treat my date like we are going to marry. And I tell oh, okay. her from the day, okay. you know, that we start. Uh, this is coming from Ajibala saying, um, when, hi, baby girls, when is the right age to start a relationship? Well, that's not a conversation for today, but it differs really. You know, I don't know that there is any particular age, but um, I, I believe you as a parent should also decide that for your, you know, your children. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so you're saying, so you're talking about Ayana saying, Ajibala, addressing your hobby as daddy is fellow's decision to do so and it's not mandatory um this is from anonymous saying understanding and openness is paramount in a marriage but in relationship each of the parties sees how he or she can come with realities of marriage example a friend of mine got only his degree when he engaged a woman guess what the lady helped him to secure a job in essence a lady helped one who is ready to take his responsibility to achieve his responsibility and this is how they complement each other uh this is coming from uh, dio benson saying my take is if one needs to be in a relationship he or she must be determined to know what they want while you go through this then all you have to do in the marriage is just sacrifice see your partner as yourself and your brother or your sister never go below your standard because when you go below uh, you're standing in the relationship. A relationship will crash because you might not be able to stand it. This is coming from Hazikredi saying, tell Marcel, why is he going after a girl he needs to pay tuition fee for? <laughs> Marcel, <laughs> Marcel should stick with working class ladies oh, if that geez. is what he he wants to do. What if it's somebody that is in masters? <laughs> mm, there you go. Um, uh, let's get back on WhatsApp for a second. Oof, it's a lot of messages. Uh, this is from Gabriel Jude saying, it all depends on who you are with, who you're with, I beg your pardon, and your expectations and your experiences. And this is coming from a listener saying, also Mufasa saying, is it possible to have standard or preferences without having expectations? And really, I asked that. And so you're saying, the answer is, is, is it possible to eat your kick and have it? I don't think that that applies here i'm just so confused you you (laughs) just confuse me (laughs) at least you're listening thank you very much for that final words before you know we wrap up no i'm good with it i just think that um in whatever relationship that you're going into communication is key you know don't be ashamed to own your truth because there are a lot of other people out there who think like you who want what you're actually who want the same things Mm -hmm. as you you know so own your truth and communicate with whoever it is that you want to be with 
Of yeah. course. Um, I think mine would be, uh, just to reiterate what I did mention, um, when you're going to a relationship, um, it's very important for you to invest based on how much the person invests in that relationship. Don't be blinded by how much you love the person. Not to say that you shouldn't, you should love the person, but pay attention to what the person brings to the table as I well. Like that. Um, because at the end of the day, those things that you bring to the table should come with a very high cost. Mm. And that could, and that is, I'm willing to give you everything if you're willing to meet me there as well. As well. I like that's very sound. And what I'm going to say is this. Um, when you're getting into a relationship, because a lot of times we get so many takes on social media, different platforms with people telling you how to go about a relationship, what mm. you should do as a woman, what you should do as a man, mm -hmm. how you should be as a girlfriend, how mm. you should be as a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of stuff out there. And there are people that are open to all that information. But I would say this to you, right, as, as regards today's topic. When you get into a relationship, don't be calculated. And the reason why I say don't be calculated, there's a, there's a difference between being calculated and being intentional. It's two different mm, things. Mm. Because when you start being calculated, you turn your relationship into a game. Yep. You're playing games. Oh, he didn't do this, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, is he doing this? Am I going to do that? It becomes too calculated. And what's the essence? What's the fun in that? You know, you're supposed to be there, happy, thriving with your partner. When it starts being too calculated, it starts being too complicated. And why are you there in the first place? But I would say to you is to be intentional. Being intentional means you will pace yourself. So from the onset, when you get into the relationship, pace yourself. Like Ugoma said, look at what the person is also willing to invest as well. You know, look at if this person is willing to go you know all in you know they're two feet in no questions asked you know willing to put a hundred percent if you're putting a hundred percent look at all these things and let that of course you know inform your decision but pace yourself be intentional because dare i say that if you're in a relationship where you've calculated so much that you are not even yourself because you might be a go lucky happy person who just likes to be nice to people you like to give gifts to people that's who you are because I believe that that's your love language. A lot of times people use their love language as a way to communicate with mm -hmm, people. You know, that's true. who you are. And so you want to buy your boyfriend stuff, buy your girlfriend stuff. But then because you're being too calculated, you're not even being yourself. And it stops being an exciting place to be. So what I would also say is that if you're in a relationship where you don't even feel comfortable being yourself, why are you in that relationship? If you're there where you feel like he doesn't even deserve it because of how he's been acting or she doesn't even deserve it because of how she's been acting, why are you there in the first place? I feel like everything around you gives you feedback. If you want to know if someone really loves you or is invested in you, everything, their body language, it's not by what they say. You know, of course, that's important. You know, what he says should be strong enough, you know, to an extent or what she says as well, because I feel like a man is his words. A woman should be her words as well. However, take a look at the nonverbal cues as well. Everything is giving you feedback, the way he responds to you, the way he pays attention, the way she pays attention, the way he shows interest, the way he shows his concern as well. These things will give you feedback. So if you're in a position where you don't even be, feel comfortable being yourself because you feel like, oh, it's too much. I can't be too nice to him because of the way he's acting or I can't be too nice to her because of the way she's acting, you probably shouldn't be in that relationship. So maybe you should have a rethink on that. So thank you so much to everyone who was a part of the show. We appreciate it. It was a fun conversation. Remember, our special hot topic happens Wednesdays, 2.30, right here on Lagos Talks 91.3. And if you are watching via other platforms like Instagram, YouTube, please ensure that you drop a comment. On our YouTube page, please ensure that you subscribe, you like our video, you comment, you share, all that good stuff. And the conversation continues. So ensure that you join the conversation at every every point in time. And make sure you follow us across all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Lagos Talks 913, to, of course, get more information about what we are talking about. Thank you once again. Remember, the Dish Lagos comes on every weekday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., particularly our hot topic Wednesdays, 2.30. Thank you once again. Uh, the Midday Show with Livanaya is not over yet. There's still more coming your way, so stick around.